Hey everybody, it's Cheryl and welcome back to Technique of the Week. It is week 22 and we're going to talk this week about thread painting. And the idea behind thread painting is that you can do this with any type of machine as long as you have the ability to drop the feed dogs down in your machine and do a free motion stitch, you can thread paint. And my very good friend Elin Waterston taught me how to do this in a class that I took with her. And uh, basically, we did this without stabilizer and without uh, any sort of um, assistance underneath the fabric. What we did was we put the fabric into a, a hoop. And so you would get a uh, a, pe or a hoop, uh, uh, an embroidery hoop, <laughs> um, and you would put the fabric in it, you know, draw it very taut, draw your design onto your fabric, then put it in the hoop. That would be the order it would go in. And then you start stitching over and over and over again, and you build up the layers of the thread, and that's what creates your design. Now, a little bit like painting, you wanna put the darker uh, threads down first and put the lighter threads on top so that they have sort of a dimensional effect. So if you want, you know, those types of effects to happen just like you would in painting, you would do the same sorts of layering techniques you would with thread. And so I'm gonna show you the piece that I did in the class, which I turned into my mini quilt for the week. And you can see here that this uh, octopus was done with thread and he's actually very thick. And when I quilted this, I did not quilt into the thread painted uh, figure himself. I did not quilt over him. I did quilt very closely around him. And that helped also with any bit of puckering that may have happened, but really because you're using the embroidery hoop, you're not going to get the puckering that you would if you had no embroidery hoop. If you just stitched on fabric over and over again, it would start to draw up, but it also would, um, that would also happen a little bit even if you had used a stabilizer underneath. So I've done lots of thread painting in various ways, but I found this to be the easiest that worked with whatever type of machine you have, which is really awesome. So uh, give this one a try. Um, you can draw whatever you like to draw, a bird, or you can use a picture out of a um, coloring book even and just start layering in the thread the threads until you have coverage. It's a little bit like coloring. So you can give this one a try um, and see what com you come up with. I would love to see it. So please be sure to share it with me because that would be really cool. So uh, be sure to follow along on my blog at www.muppin.com. You can also subscribe to this channel so that you never miss an episode. And you can also sign up for my newsletter and get the 52 Technique of the Week checklist so that you can follow along with us every week. And I will see you again next week. So bye.